So anyway, in that Snow Beast movie, they were talking about how the Yeti, and this was, they were saying that it was the Yeti, uh, the Abominable Snowman, and that it had been hidden in the, uh, I guess, if I'm trying to remember the story correctly, uh, because what they were talking about in there was like uh, how it had been hidden in the mountains for years, and then suddenly started attacking people, and of course, again, this is a fictional movie, and it's to scare people, obviously, um, you know, it's more of a kind of a, although it wasn't all that scary, but it was interesting, I mean, I think the first one was actually a little bit more scarier than the one with John Snyder, but John Snyder did a pretty good job of, of doing the remake, uh, um, but um, yeah, if you if you watch that, they, they talk about how uh, it could be hid for you know thousands of years and everything, and you know uh, like this one, I guess basically maybe had been like in hibernation, and then came out of a hibernation, and uh, then uh, you know started attacking people. Who obviously, again, being a fictional movie and attacking people uh, into to a very going back to what you were talking about aggressive uh, things about a, a Bigfoot. But uh, it's a it's a very interesting fictional movie. Uh, I mean, it's not like I mean. Yeah, it I haven't seen that. Yeah, I mean they're both they're both fairly good for their time periods. Um, you know, the one in the seventies is a little bit lower tech. Uh, the one a little not made too long ago is a little bit better tech, obviously because you know, things they've improved with films. But um, the story itself is just interesting because they they do put a lot of like some scientific stuff within that film, even though it is meant to kind of scare you. Uh, but th there's some very good scientific stuff in the film, uh, which I, it's, it's really hard for me to tell you that when it's, you know, like one's a, you know, they're ba basically, basically B movies, but they basically do have some good, you know, forethought and insight into uh, you know, the, the creature and everything. And I think that's something, you know, you may, hey, if you just want to watch it for fun or, or whatever, just uh, kind of, you know, again, going about that open mind thing, you know, sometimes you just got to like, hey, just because it's fictional doesn't mean you can't find something in it that, hey, that's some scientific stuff that makes sense. Uh, and uh, right. to, to the filmmakers, yeah. to, the, to the filmmakers' credit, obviously, for a film, they weren't obviously trying to push that side of it, but they at least put it in there enough that okay well that makes sense well anyway that's what our discussion was for today and uh we have enjoyed you being here we've had a really good show this is one of our this is i guess our longest show to date so far uh i'm not sure what the time period on it was it's well over the 30 minute uh mark so this should be really really good for everybody but we have enjoyed you being here uh and danielle out there in san diego and we're getting ready to close out the show for the day yeah thanks for listening everyone until next time if you guys have any um, your own experiences or anything to add to the show, let us know. Absolutely. Thank you and subscribe, please. Absolutely. And I will put I will have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week. Absolutely. And I will put something up about a poll and some other stuff, uh, things I'm a adding to the show as we're going. And again, thank you for being part of the 13th Destiny Podcast. This is Magnum, and Danielle has said goodbye. And God bless all of you. Thank you.